Sean Thompson is a PhD student in the Department of Soil and Crop Sciences. He works with uh, Dirk Hayes, uh, Robert Washington Allen, Jackie Rudd, and myself. And he's looking at below and above ground uh, uh, traits using high throughput phenotyping technologies. Uh, for that, he's using the ground penetrating radar and the terrestrial uh, laser scanning uh, uh, tools uh, to look at traits that we have not been able to look at in the, in the past. The, the real use of the terrestrial laser scanner in a plant breeding population is it, it allows us to, to access or to see phenotypes that we haven't been able to see in the past. So, as a plant breeder, when we walk out into our nurseries, we, we, we walk through our nurseries and we look for characteristics or physiological traits in plants and in lines that give it a, an advantage over another plant. And so, in this case, just as this nursery uh, behind me here, we would go into this nursery and we take plant height, me height measurements. And some of those measurements can be correlated to yield or some of those measurements can be correlated to the performance of that plant or we'll take an agronomic score. But as you can see, this is one of many of the nurseries that we use here in Texas to evaluate our lines. And the problem is, is that over time, or even as the course of the day progresses, we become biased to different things that we're scoring these lines for. Or we become tired, or we become hungry. Or the bottom line is, is you just can't see enough of the diversity in the plants, or see the differences because they're so minute between two lines. And so it opens the door to a, for a need for this a technology that allows us to take data rapidly but very accurately. And that's where these tools come into play. Before the ground penetrating radar, the idea behind it was originally designed to look into like concrete, to be able to, to find rebar, to find underground pipes or find underground water. And it's been utilized by other scientists for um, work such as in uh, forestry where they're looking at below ground canopy of a tree being able to image the roots that are below ground or being able to look and see into the, uh, the structure that the, that the plant itself is actually putting down. So it's a very simple idea. Like I said, the, the, the radar it sends a signal down into the ground and what the idea or what the, the, the concept is is that as the, the, the signal passes through the soil, it, when it encounters a root or when it encounters, encounters anything else that uh, is in the soil, it's going to send back a return that's different, showing a different density or surrounding. One of the, the ideas or the hypotheses that we have is that you know, plants that, are, that have deeper roots can, can tap into water, or plants that um, have larger below ground biomass or larger root systems are able to withstand drought better. And with changing environmental pressures and with stresses that are being put on these lines, and on, on our wheat lines and our populations, we feel that being able to evaluate these would be our next big move for us as far as uh, developing lines that are able to handle drought stress or able to handle heat stress.